what is up youtubers so i just realized um i never did a review of the uh tweeter head one fifth scale tila uh from master of the universe so i actually got this piece like two weeks ago uh for my it was during my birthday i actually got it for myself uh from a local comic shop here in jersey um around the same time i had actually gotten the uh, Boba Fett and I didn't realize I was so excited from that then I got this it was a busy week um, but yeah never got to kind of go over that um, there have been other reviews obviously um, but um, not in my collection so I decided to place her here um, under the Star Wars um, I decided to also move the shelves a bit and have Grogu and R2-D2 over there uh, with the helmets, the Lego helmets there. Oh, I also got Hunter. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, but as you can see here, we have Tila. She is awesome. Saw her at the comic shop. I've seen her for quite some time there. Um, her, her and Hordak, <clears throat> excuse me, her and Hordak. Um, Hordak, I do plan to also get. Um, and place him here next to Tila. But yeah, ever since I saw this piece, I mean, I've always been a fan of Masters of the Universe, but never actually thought of getting the statues um, until I realized that they continued the Sideshow One Fifth um, line. So, you know, they have the He Man, they have She Ra, they have Evil Lin, they have Skeletor. Um, obviously, I don't have the room for all of that, but uh, my local comic shop did have Tila and they have. Hordak. So I picked up Tila and I figured, you know what, I'm going to get Hordak as well. Maybe one day I can get the Skeletor or He-Man. I, I feel like that'll be, um, you know, a great... I believe I could fit three there. I would be able to fit Tila there, Tila in the middle, He-Man, um, and Hordak. Or I'd have to rearrange it, but I don't know. We'll see, but one thing at a time, right? So we're here to talk about Tila. Beautiful, beautiful face. Uh, portrait done beautifully uh, this is the alternate portrait with the ponytail the portrait it came with is the right here short hair version both are same portrait uh, just different hair but I do prefer this one beautiful statue the sword um, it's not like a real metal texture, but it doesn't feel cheap. So that's that's a plus because sometimes these can feel like really cheap PVC um, and it really uh, changes the, the feel of the whole statue. But uh, yeah, not this one. The base is awesome. With that, I'm going to go back here. Tentacles and the eye is back there. I don't really want to turn it because it took some time to actually get it centered here. I want to make sure it looked good. She looks good on her own there, but very lonely. So I do want to add the other pieces to it. Um, and yeah, like I had mentioned, I also got the 1 7th um, Hunter from Star Wars. As you can see there, the Bad Batch. So yeah, local comic shop gets all the cool pieces. Um, and I try to visit as, as often as possible and, color, and, and you know, pick up what I can uh, while staying in budget. Not easy, but um, yeah, I think he's awesome. He has that switch out portrait there with the helmet. Um, or you can have the unmasked, which obviously I choose the unmasked. I do plan to get Wrecker. I'm not sure about the others. I mean, if I did, I'd move Ahsoka and Rex on this side, or I'd get all of the Bad Batch line and just have them on this side, because there are about uh, five of them. So I would do that. Um, but we'll see. With time, we'll see. So this year, I would like to pace myself, because um, I'm one of those that just likes to impulse buy and then sell and get what I really like when I should have just waited in the first place. I think we all have that problem, but yeah. That is the update. Um, so added Tila and added Hunter. Things are looking nice. So it's a good start to the new year.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.